new spring tan. Doing level one instant. That's what she said she prefers. So we'll see how this goes. I've only ever gotten a spray tan once, but this is what it looks like if you have never used or like gotten a spray tan. Kind of scary. It's very intimidating, but the barrier cream. I'm gonna change and see how this goes. I'm doing level one, so hopefully it's like not too orange, but still give me some color. I feel like a totally different person when I'm tan and not pale. Like my self-esteem and confidence just plummets in the winter. Summer comes around and I'm like, okay, I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, I was really debating on getting a spray tan, but I feel like with this glow up process, that is something that needed to be done. And I'm so glad that I did now. So for my spray tan, I went to Zoom Tan because that was like the closest spray tan place that um, was by me. Um, so I did level one, which there's three levels, level one, level two, and level three. Um, but let me just show you this. That's literally the tan line from my under here. Yeah, I don't really know if you guys can tell, but I think it looks really good and like my whole body looks really good. Like my legs are like super bronzy and everything. So I still have a few hours until I can shower. So once I shower and like wash my body and everything, I will show you guys the tan after. Hi guys, it is the next day. I showered last night but it was really late and I just didn't film so here it is more natural I definitely do have like a bronze look it became really subtle and I was like really happy about that because it was like super dark and then I showered and then it looked so much better um so I do have like a full face of makeup on but I don't know if you can tell but I I think I look like tanner than I was which is really good because that was step one to our glow up process <laughs> So I am sitting outside of a hair salon. I am going to be dyeing my hair today and also getting a styled haircut. I am really nervous. I am going a different color. I have to bleach my hair. So I'm kind of freaking out. The only time that I was not brunette was in middle school when I had like my blonde balayage and like I had my blonde phase. So it's been a hot minute since I've like done anything to my hair like other than my natural color. Like I dye my hair obviously like with box dye and stuff. So my hair appointment is at two o'clock and it's 1 36. i have a few minutes to spare so i will see you guys in the hair salon <laughs> Okay, I'm finally home. Are you guys ready for this reveal? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's literally red. It's exactly what I wanted. Obviously, it's gonna look different in like natural lighting, like the sun and everything. It looks so good. I literally feel so hot. You're a new me. <laughs> it's about to make me cuss right now. Holy shit. So yeah, I went from brunette to literally red. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with it. I'm in love. It looks so good. Definitely gonna have to get used to it and obviously maintain it, like get new shampoo and conditioner and everything. For the haircut, I just did some layers. Um, she kind of just like crowned them and everything. And then she added some texture. So then I chopped my curtain bangs. So I usually do chin length because I was honestly so scared to go like past my chin. In. So we just like said F it and totally went to like my nose and it looks so much better Like they're the best looking curtain bangs I have ever like received from someone and then I added some wispy bangs Which I kind of have to get used to them and like learn how to style them But like they're long enough to like go back into my hair so like with bangs, no bangs. <laughs> I was actually just testing like what my hair is gonna look like with it in a pony. Cause honestly like work and everything, like I keep my hair up like a bun. 
It's literally so cute. It was a really long process, but so freaking worth it. Like, I am so happy. I love it so much. This is a new era. Like, we're in our red era. So yeah, that was step two to the whole glow up process. Obviously the biggest change and like drastic change for sure. Uh, most important to this glow up process. It doesn't end there though, because we have a few more things to get done before our glow up is officially finished. Hi, I was wondering if you guys have an opening today for a full set, um, whenever, whatever time. Yeah, that works. Uh, Emma, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, well, I just finished getting my nails done and y'all know I have a hard time filming in there But anyways, so I went to a new place. We'll definitely be coming back The nail salon that I usually go to is only open on Saturdays and that's just not convenient for me So I found this place that's like close to my house. They did really well They specialize in like designs and everything. These are definitely the longest nails I have ever gotten Here's how they turned out they're really long. I could stop someone with these. Um, but I always get almond shape and then I just like wanted a like white line design. And the lady that did them, she was like, like I wanna add a silver line. So she did on one and I was like, okay, that's actually kind of cute. So that's why there's some silver in there. But originally it was just gonna be white. Like, I don't even know what step we're on for this whole glow up process, but nails is obviously like a given. Like you have to get your nails done when you glow up. So now that my nails are done, I feel put together and I think the glow up is going really well. So the last and final step of this whole glow up process is to glow down. And what I mean by that is to shower, shave, exfoliate, do my skincare. A lot of people take glow up as only getting your makeup done, your hair done, and nails done. Obviously that's what we did for part of the glow up. But another important part is like mental health and focusing on yourself and doing skincare to make your skin better. You know, there's so many other things that go into a glow up and that's just how we're gonna end our whole process. So I'm gonna jump in the shower, I'm gonna exfoliate, shave, and listen to some music and sing my heart away. <laughs> We're out of the shower. I feel so good. I haven't shaved in a bit, so my legs are kind of hairy, TMI, but they feel like butter. And this is my favorite lotion of all time. This stuff you need to get. Like it, oh my gosh, it's so good. I have the vanilla cashmere one and it smells so good. It's literally just the best lotion ever. Like I really don't need to explain anything else. <laughs> I start my period in like six days, so skincare is super important right now because I'm getting like little pimples on the sides of my cheek. Now time to brush the teeth. skincare is done and I feel so refreshed. That is the end of this entire glow up process. We went from like all dolled up to getting my hair done to makeup off, completely glowed down. That's what a glow up is all about, honestly. You don't have to have like full face of makeup to have a glow up, you know? Like that's a great part to a glow up process, but like still, like you can have no makeup on and still have a glow up and still feel so much better as a person. One thing that I do wanna talk about is how we literally went from brunette to red hair. It was kind of like a spontaneous last minute decision. I've been wanting to do something to my hair for a really long time. And I kind of already explained that. And yeah, so I think it turned out really good. And I think I had a great glow up overall. I just feel very different. Like my life is kind of like under control. And I'm not saying that getting my hair done and getting my nails done has done that. I just, I don't know, just something different. Like I made a vision board, I got my hair done, you know, just doing things for myself. And I think that's the most important thing. And that's, that is definitely one thing I have taken from this whole process is just doing everything for myself and making myself feel so much better, which it was accomplished. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below what you guys think about my new hair. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon back for videos. Bye guys. Bye.